Jimbo and I think Christine played the game. Like, if you can, if you can use that game and like maybe I don't know, um, use it as an icebreaker where everyone can play a game that like little children in the Philippines play. Like, I think that would be like a lot of fun. And not only are you making sure that everyone's entertained, you're still entertained and awake in PCC, but you're still teaching the culture, you know, because you're teaching that, you know, the culture, I don't know, like, games in the Philippines are way different from here because they kind of have to utilize their resources more, whereas we have kind of at the materials. Um, oh, and then, um, I think I brought this up at the um, PCC Open Forum thing, um, like about like the dances that we do, um, or whatever. Like it was it was nice to kind of get a brief description of what it is. But I think what would could be added to that is just I don't know like a, a more specific history. Um, why people dance the way they do? Why they do moves the way they do? Why do or why are they dressed the way they are? I think a lot of that will teach you more about the Philippine culture. Not only that, but like like not only will it give you the not only will it give you information about it, but then, like, I feel like that's how people can connect to it more because, you know, like, I don't know, a lot of the dances are symbolic of certain things and sometimes they represent some our, our beliefs, etc. Um, but yeah, um, there were concerns about PCC, um, and I thought about all those answers, or like answers, or like how I would solve those, but I don't know how to uh, exactly state what I would do better without without it being too personal or without talking about someone else's personal experience. And if there, if you have specific questions about how I would handle things, you can go ahead and ask. Um, okay, and last thing I want to say, um, I want to just like talk about like me um, or like the person I am in general and me as a leader. Um, for me, I'm willing to learn. I know that I'm only a second year um, and so I don't have as much experience as other people do. But I am willing to learn, like I am totally open to doing that. Like I'm a person that, I, I do ask, I love, ask a lot of questions actually. And so yeah, like that's the kind of person I am. I'm willing to learn, um, I'm willing to sacrifice. I really don't know the meaning of sleep and I really don't care about sleep. So I'm willing to sacrifice that. I'm willing to sacrifice, um, I don't know, like personal personal enjoyment, time, etc. cetera. Um, I'm responsible. Um, yeah, like I, I get things done. Um, I think that's the reason why all of us are here at UCC is because we're all responsible. <laughs> and, oh, and I can tell you one thing. Um, when I join something, I don't join it. I don't know to make myself look good or like I I don't know. Like for instance, like back in high school, all the stuff that I did wasn't to get into college, but it was because I I liked it and I felt like I could actually contribute to it. So I can tell you that like right now, like if I'm I'm do, I'm, do, uh, I'm applying for this position um, <coughs> because I want to do it. And I know that, or I'm hoping that what I have is like, or no, what I have is like, I don't know, can contribute to you know, fulfilling this position's needs. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, every single time I do an interview, a lot, or a lot of the interviews that I've like been in before, a lot of people ask me, uh, so what's one thing that separates you from other people or from other leaders or from your other opponents, blah, blah, blah. And um, I think one of the things that I realized that um, is different about me is that um, as a leader, I'm able to acknowledge my mistakes and fix them. Um, I think when people have leadership positions, um, they feel that they always, um, they always feel that they need to be right, and they always feel that they have the need to be perfect well, because they are the people who are leading other people, right? So they should be that, you know, ideal figure. Um, but as for me, like, I know that I'm not a perfect person, and I, you know, like, I do make mistakes and stuff, but I acknowledge those. Like, I'm not one to point fingers and be like, oh, well, this person did that, and that's wrong. So that makes me right. Like, I'm not like that at all. Like, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake, and it's not only that, but I'll make that mistake and learn from it and make sure that <laughs> and make sure that I can fix it and then hopefully not make that mistake. And I think that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> so